Welcome to another Dave Does video and today we are doing your requests uh, and I threw this thing out there a while ago and asked you guys uh, what songs would you like me to go and check out and I did, I did a couple of hours worth of time on the community board and you guys sent me a load of requests and we're just doing them so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, God, my hair is messed up this morning. This is morning hair. This is what happens when you don't bother to do your hair at all before you start doing videos. But hey ho, short hair, I can get away with it. It's good, I can look messy. I'm a drummer. Drummers always look messy. Uh, we're going to go check out some Arlequin, and we're going to check out, uh, I think, the song was Zoo. Uh, specifically, I've got Santa Link, so I'm not really sure if it's what particular uh, song it is. I believe it's Zoo at Zep Diver City. Zep Diver City, not Zep River, okay. Zep Diver City. Uh, yes, we're going to go check this one out. Now, of course, if you like the video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like, share, leave the comments down below, get involved with all the challenges. We've got the originals, first covers, and of course, greatest song ever challenge. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can do so via lots of different ways. We've got the Patreon, we've got the priority video requests, we've got the Rotten Inside Craft Shop, you can get cool kind of craft stuff like these runestone necklaces. Uh, which I think they're like four ninety nine at the moment, uh, or you can get them uh, plus shipping depending on where you are in the world. Uh, worth going checking those out. And of course, we've got Bank Up the Band, Nothing Gained, with the old uh, Nothing Gained albums. Now, this video will be a scored reaction. We score it out of four categories: that's lyrics, uh, melody, hook, and appeal. Uh, it's a kind of a general kind of scoring system. It's basically scored out of hundred. And as mentioned, if you were asking one hundred people what they thought of the song, how many of them would say they liked it or didn't like it? And that's how we kind of get the score it's very technical very scientific and completely made up on the bloody spot so it just really depends on how i feel about the song and it's kind of my interpretation of heavy music how many people i think it would like a really heavy stuff if it's easy to interpret etc so yeah go go check it out anyway this is arlequin and zoo at zep diva city count it in three two one go <laughs> I won't be able to score the lyrics because I haven't read the translations.
らら。So it's Arlequin and Zoo at Zip Diva City. Cool track, enjoyable. Uh, real kind of ravey, dancey, fun, uh, bounce around track. Wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, as I have done art, I'm sure I've done Arlequin at least once, maybe twice before. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool track. Reminded me a little bit of... Uh couple of the more recent baby metals uh, like the, the dance and oh what's the other one was it kiri i can't remember the other one it's called but uh yes you'll you'll know which one i'm talking about but i've done reactions to both of them uh, it had that same kind of jump bouncy dance beat uh, and it always makes me go i mean this one felt more metal metalized because the guitars were more prominent than the baby metal one uh cool groove nice riffs in there really bouncy great inter uh, interaction with the crowd um not just so from because uh, i see some some of the, some of the uh, sort of japanese or asian audiences they do a lot of like the symbolizing symbolizing of it, like arm movements etc but this one had a lot more of that bounce that was really really cool uh so that was yeah i, I really liked it it was really obviously i can't score it on lyrics because i have no idea but i I think uh, I was a bit concerned that it might not have been a hook until you kind of like uh, you can hear the repetitions as the song moves forward you, it's the actual whole song itself is a hook uh, and works really really well uh, it's from an appeal point of view it's a more of a tricky one because it's uh, not as easily accessible uh, but there are definitely elements of it that are accessible world like gen genre spanning so the the beat the tempo uh, that sort of element of it, but obviously from a, a vocal point of view, it's slightly imitated from that point of view. Uh, plus, I mean, sort of your diehard metal fans may not go into sort of this sort of crossover, sort of dance music, and obviously people from a more easy listening probably won't get into that, but who knows. Uh, anyway, fun reaction, great to sort of check it out. Now, if you like the video, please do subscribe, hit the bell icon, like, share it in the comments down below, and that, of course, is how Dave did it.